Today marks two weeks since the Erskine fire started. It's destroyed hundreds of homes and killed two people. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle joins us now from cleanup efforts. Cassie? Yes, out here in South Lake, neighbors can breathe a little bit easier after teams in these suits, masks, and gloves came out and picked down all of the hazardous materials. Kern County Public Health has a big job ahead of them. Find all the hazardous materials that are a, basically an immediate threat to people's health and get that out of there. Suited up with masks and gloves picking through the rubble. So burn batteries, any residual paints, pesticides, uh, things of that nature. Crews are moving quickly, checking all of the homes on this street in an hour or less. They have 285 homes to go through before the state can come in and remove what's left. If they don't have insurance, which many people out here don't, this is their only way to get it done. A free service that helps residents get back to the beginning. Then I think the residents will have, I think, a better timeline of when they would actually be able to start to rebuild. In the meantime, neighbors left behind and homeowners visiting their property will be able to breathe a little easier. I ran into a homeowner earlier today who did not want the public health department on their property, and the public health department will not go on if you call them and you let them know. In South Lake, Cassie Carlisle, 23 ABC.